Thanks for tuning in. It is finally here, my 22S haul. If you're tuning in for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to do these luxury fashion videos here on YouTube. I share hauls and reviews, but at the end of the day, I share my journey so we can all mindfully curate our own collections. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below with your favorite piece from 22S. All of your support really means a lot to me. I am super, super, super duper excited. You probably know the launch date for the 22S collection was March 10th and we are well into April now. <laughs> so I've definitely been waiting for my 22S picks to come in and it's finally here. Super, super excited, long awaited. It is a new category or new piece from Chanel that I haven't purchased before. And it comes in this super cute little pouch right here. I have never seen these kinds of pouches before, um, but I, I love it. It has little ribbon here, and you see there's like a little the glitter applique. It's almost like a screen print. You know what I'm talking about. It's, it's, just, it's just cute, okay? It's just cute. So let me open this up. And inside, all right all right i know i know i know you might be wondering like what the heck this is a, the one piece swimsuit from 22s it is the black body with the white straps the back looks just like this so it is a racer back style it is a really sporty style overall and as you can see it has this little charm it is sewn on super cute it has little crystals in it which i could have done without you know how i feel about chanel costume jewelry and and crystals on things but uh you know it is what it is it's on there already so i'm not going to take it off by any means but this is the one piece swimsuit uh, like always i will put the style information price and everything in the description box down below so definitely check the details there uh, I think this was part of look three or four or something like that of the actual spring summer runway show and I was really surprised to see swimwear as the first five looks there's the like suspender style swimsuit that was look one and then there are there's a black bikini a white bikini set a black one piece and a white one piece and so clearly this is the black one piece. I'm super excited to have this. So there's a little bit of a story behind this. I mean, I mean, there always is, right? But specifically, I'd been looking to add a Chanel swimwear piece for a couple of years now. It started ever since I was still shopping at my boutique that used to be the Neiman Marcus at Hudson Yards boutique. And so my essay is well aware that I've been looking at and interested in different swimmer pieces. I did pre-order a piece from, I think it was spring, summer 2020 or something like that. Uh, but with the world going upside down and all of that stuff my and then the boutique closing oh maybe it was spring summer 21 i think that might have been what it was i don't know it, it basically with the boutique closing and my essay transferring to a different store my pre-order got transferred to another local store but it got lost in that process so like that didn't come through every season every spring summer like cruise season that there's any swimwear my essay would let me know but like the past few collections the swimwear would still be black but i felt like they'd be a little bit too graphic like something else is going on or there's like this massive print going on sometimes they'd have like camellia motifs going on and i just really wanted something really simple so when i saw you know as like the 90s inspired runway show and everything i saw this piece and i felt like it would be a really good contender really good simple option for me and i'm really happy that it's worked out i absolutely love it some of you might know some of you will remember that i do have a fendi swim piece 
And I also featured that Spendy Swim piece as one of my worst purchases one year, I think 2020 probably. But I have different uses almost. I mean, I will wear this as a swimsuit as well, but I sort of have different things I plan for this particular swim. That's also why I cared for it to be pretty simple, pretty plain, and I also wanted it to be black and not white or a different color. The other thing that I really liked about this was that it had a pretty sporty silhouette. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't too loud, it wasn't too revealing, it wasn't trying too hard, if you get what I mean. It was, it was just, pretty plain and that could be really boring for some and I totally understand that as well like if you look at the swimsuit I know I basically paid for this this little thing right here <laughs> so like is it really smart absolutely not um, do I think everybody needs to run out and get this absolutely not don't do that but for me it was a style and it was a piece that I was looking to add I had been looking at several different black one-piece swimsuits from Chanel over the years so that's why when this one came out it was the one that I wanted to grab and I know it'll just be a good kind of standard piece to have for most vacations. And like I said, I just liked that it wasn't heavily branded, heavily logoed. Like, of course, there's the little charm. But outside of that, I, f I feel like it's um, relatively low key. For sizing references, I got my standard size that I would normally get for like tops. And for swimwear, I like to make sure it fits pretty well because if it's too big, like I tend to wear my clothes a bit oversized, uh, but if it if swimwear gets too big and it gets wet, like it starts to like sag and it starts to feel like it's going to expose body parts. So uh, I, I prefer them to fit a little bit on the snug side. I just got my true to size and it fits well. It's really nice and stretchy. It has very good tension in the fabric. So I'm looking forward to that. Unfortunately, this is the only 22S item that has arrived at the boutique in terms of pieces that I am interested in, pieces that I pre-ordered, stuff like that. So this is the only piece that has come in so far. I thought about waiting until more hearts become available and hopefully I get my heart as well, but nobody knows when that's coming through. I've been seeing people get their hearts and it's so cute and I can't wait to get mine. So far, my color hasn't arrived at the boutique yet and nobody seems to know when it is. And uh, spring, summer is always the longest collection. The next collection doesn't come into the boutiques until June. I was told, I was forewarned that it's going to be a bit of a slow roll, a slow burn. So nobody knows when they're coming through. So I figured I would just film this unboxing first and then you bet, you bet I'm gonna film an unboxing as soon as my heart arrives because I can't, I can't wait any longer. <laughs> it might end up being back-to-back -back hauls. It might be a week later. I, honestly, I don't know, I cannot tell you, but at least this piece arrived. I'm super excited about it. And I don't know how, I mean, you guys are probably tired of hearing this already, but I'm going to Mexico in a few weeks. So I'm super excited. I think it will be really awesome there as well. That's my really, really quick Chanel 22S haul right now, as of now, but stay tuned. There's more coming. I'm sure there's more coming. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> but um, if you have any other questions on luxury swimwear, on Chanel ready to wear, Chanel swimwear, anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, 